Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make a hive wing from Wings of Fire. So to start off, we're going to begin with the eye. So right here in the middle of my paper, I'm just going to make a small sad face. And then right underneath that, I'm going to make a small happy face. So that's going to serve as the eye. Now inside the eye, I'm going to draw a large circle. And then on this side, I'm going to make a small circle. And then I'm going to draw another small circle right around it. And then I want to color in that last circle that I just drew. Now, I'm going to start right here at the end of the eye, and I'm going to draw a line down, and then I'm going to go up at an angle, just like this. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and then up, and then it's going to come back around here like this. Then right here by the eyebrow, I'm going to make another small line right there. Now, coming back here, we're going to turn this into the ear. So I'm just going to draw a line that kind of curves up and then back down a little bit like this. And then I'm just going to curve this down, and then I'm going to get really, really close to this line right there. Then right here, I'm going to draw kind of like a stretched out S shape to show where the inside of the ear is going to be. Then I'm just going to draw this line down a little bit. Now, for like the front of the dragon's face. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves back like this. Then I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves down and goes right about to there. Then I'm going to keep curving this line around and I'm going to bring it up to another curve like this. Then starting right here I'm going to make a big kind of curved line that goes all the way down like this. Then I'm going to curve up and then back down. Then I'm going to do that same thing again. And then I'm going to do it one more time like this. So that's going to be the top of the mouth. Now for the bottom of the mouth, I'm going to bring this down a little bit farther. And then I'm going to go back up with it, and then down. And then I'm going to curve up, and then down. And then I'm going to curve back up, down, and then back up. Now for the bottom of the jaw, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to draw a line that curves down. And then I'm just going to curve this line all the way back up to here. Then I'm going to draw a line that curves around here, and it's going to almost meet back up with this line that I drew. Now, coming over here, I'm just going to draw a little line like this to show where part of the mouth is. So let's work on some of the details of the mouth. So first, right here, I'm going to draw a little line right there. And then I'm going to draw the tongue. So to draw the tongue, I'm going to start here. And I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then down 
and then it's going to have a little curl right at the end. Then I'm going to draw that same shape and I'm just going to curl around and I'm going to come back down right about here. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a curved line that comes up and goes all the way down to here. Now for some teeth. So I'm going to draw two curved letter V's for some teeth right there. And then I'm going to draw about three of them right here. And then I'll put one more back here. Then down here, I'm going to put one kind of curved triangle right there. Then I'll do a couple more over here. And then one more right here. Now to draw the back of the mouth, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that curves down and then it's going to curve back up. And then this line is going to go right down to the tongue. And then it's going to go right down to here. Now, coming back up here, I'm going to draw a little curved line that goes up really close to the eye and comes down. Just kind of shows where the mouth is moving right there. Then for the nose. So starting right here. I'm going to make a line that goes up and then kind of curves around to here. Then I'm just going to make a little line that kind of curves right to there. Then underneath it, I'm just going to draw that same shape like this. Now, for the back of the head. I'm going to start right here by the tip of the ear and I'm just going to draw a line that curves out and it's going to go all the way down to the bottom of my paper like that. Now under here I'm going to make that same kind of curved line. So I'm going to come in and start right here. I'm going to go up just a little bit and then I'm just going to kind of curve down and go right down to the edge of my paper for the neck. Now for the horns. So to draw the horns, I want to make sure that I have a really long top horn. I'm going to go all the way almost to the end of my paper. So it's going to start here by the eye and it's going to go up and then come down and then go back up again, kind of like a roller coaster. So starting right here, I'm just going to go up and then down and then back up just like that. Then I'm going to follow that same shape and I'm going to make it skinny here and I want it to be really wide when I get down to here. So. I'm just going to do the same shape and then I'm going to bring it right to the ear right there. Now there's another horn on the other side. So this time I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw pretty much the same shape. I'm going to go up and then down and then back up again to about there. And then I'm going to start off real skinny again, and then I'm going to slowly get wider and then stop right about there. Just so it looks like that horn is on the other side. Now for some of the little details on here. So back here on the neck, the dragon has some spikes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a curved line like this. And then I'm going to bring it back like this. You can see that it's real thin at the end and then gets a little bit wider as it comes back towards the body. So I'm going to put another one of these here, a little bit more at an angle. Then put one more here. 
And then I'll put one more right down here. Now, for a few more of the details on the body. So, right here under the head, what I want to do is I want to make some lines. So I'm going to make a couple little lines just to show that the dragon has some scales under here. So I'm just drawing a few little lines, getting them a little bit bigger as I move farther up. And I'm just going to keep drawing a few of these. I'm going to start making some of these kind of more at a curve. And that's good right about there. Now, this dragon has some unique scale patterns on here. So, to draw these, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start up here. And right here by the jaw, I'm just going to put a small curved line like this. Then, I'm going to start right here about halfway at that curve line. And I'm going to draw a curve that just kind of curves right up to the ear like that. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of angles down and goes right to the jaw like that. Then, starting about at the halfway point of this line that I just drew, I'm going to make a curved line that goes all the way to the back of the neck. Then, I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to draw another one of these lines right here. So I'm going to go down and then kind of curve up and go right back to the V, or right back to the jaw, I should say. Now, I'm going to make some of these lines just a little bit longer, because I'm going to use them in my pattern over here. So, after I draw this line, I'm going to start right about here and draw the curved line to the back of the neck. Then I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to draw another one of these angled lines that comes down and I'm going to touch this one and go up here like this. Then I'm just going to curve this line back here. Then I'll start here, make another one of these lines that kind of comes down, goes right to here. Then I will curve this line back and do the same thing. I'll start here, kind of curve down, and go up to here. Then I'm just going to put a little line right here at the bottom. Now the dragon does have a few more details on him. So, starting back up here, where we made that first little line, I'm going to just kind of connect this to the jaw line. And I'm just going to make another one of these little curved lines up here. And then I'm going to put one more small curved line right here. And then I'm going to draw another curved line right there. Now, for the last couple details. So right here by the eye of the dragon, he has a couple stripes. So I'm just going to draw a couple curved lines right here by his eye. And I'll do one small one right here, just like that. Now, starting right here at this line, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve around here and that's just going to follow the shape of the mouth. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve around and it's going to come right to here. Then I'm just going to kind of follow the shape of the mouth. Right about to there. Then I'm just going to continue that shape right down here 
And then when I get to here, I'm just going to curve it down. Now, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of goes right to about here. I kind of use that line of the nose. And I'm just going to put a few curved lines in here like this, just to show another little stripe pattern. Now, the last step on the horns, I want to add a few lines. So I'm just going to make a few lines on the horn that are some different sizes. Some are going to be a little bit longer, some are going to be a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to put some of these all the way around the horn. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to put a few of these. You can put some close together, some a little bit farther apart. Just make some of them a little bit longer than others. And there you go. There is your drawing of a hive wing face from Wings of Fire. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.